Hello, happy Saturday. Hi guys, welcome back. So, we're gonna have a fun little weekend project. I got on here a little later than I thought I might, but I'm just happy to be able to get on here at all, sorry. We are having a hair day, no shower today. I don't think that's gonna be in the cards, but, or at least until later. <laughs> but, um, I wanted to share this project with you. And um, when I finish up this, the hubby is blowing up the um, outdoor or the little kitty, not kitty, but you know, the small blow up pool for the backyard so that I can take the little one out there. It's uh, over a hundred with the heat index again today. So we are gonna go out there and see if we can stand it, uh, getting in the pool. Um, I haven't gotten in there with him at all yet and hardly ever get outside. So because it's so hot. So I'm actually looking forward to getting some vitamin D. I desperately need it. Um, I was absolutely exhausted last night. Um, I, after his bath, after dinner and then his bath, we, we watched part of a movie. Um, I decided to introduce him to Charlotte's web. He, uh, we have a big old spider web out in my front garden that I noticed the other day coming home and he doesn't want me to call the man to take care of it it's like one of those like really big garden spiders but um I don't like spiders so I'm ready for him to be gone and he's like no he's my friend and I thought well we've talked about it every day when he got home yesterday he wanted to go out and see if it was still there make sure I hadn't called the man and um so I thought you know what I am going oh my gosh speaking of which where is he coming from there's a itty bitty I mean the teeniest, tiniest spider right here, right now. Dangling from, I guess, my ceiling fan. That's what's up there. What's going on? I guess they're even getting too hot. They're coming in. Wow. I can't believe that. That's never happened. Whoa. Okay. I guess I'm just calling them up because I'm talking about them. Oh, guys, I don't like spiders. Anyway, uh, my sister can attest to that. <laughs> and my dad. But, um, yeah, so I thought, well, hey, I want to introduce him to Charlotte Webb. He hasn't watched that yet. He's not really been into watching, like, movies, movies. He doesn't even watch a show for a long time, um, like, um, you know, any of the cartoons. He'll watch them for a little bit, but then he gets easily distracted. So I thought, or he has, and I thought, well, I don't know if he'll watch it. So instead of doing a storybook last night, I decided that we would watch part of a movie together. So we snuggled up in bed. And I put the movie on, and I swear I was falling asleep. Um, we weren't even, I don't know if we got halfway through it. We had gotten through the, um, shoot, what's the one after um, Some Pig? It was, oh gosh. Oh, I can't remember what the next word is, because I was, like I said, half asleep. Otherwise, it would be fresh in my mind. But whatever the next word is that Charlotte puts in her web to try to save Wilbur, um, that's where we had gotten to and then it got to an ending point. I had to search it. I looked in all, of course, you know, you have a bunch of different, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, services or areas that you can check for a movie. I checked all of them and none of them had it. So we had to go to YouTube. So it's broken up a little bit, but it was a good stopping point. He was really, really tired. He had, had a long week and a long day, and I was tired because I had had a long week. So um, anyway, that's what we did. And then afterwards, I thought after I got him to bed that I would, you know, maybe try to work on some of the um, things that I usually work on behind the scenes for the business, and I was too tired. I went right to bed, and that's unusual for me um, before midnight. So. I did that and then I took it a little bit slower this morning. I hope you got to do that too. And then um, I worked on stuff all morning. I've been working on business stuff all morning. But the hubby agreed to to take over full-time duty while I am, um, he always helps with them anyway, but take over full-time duty while I came up here and got to share a project with you guys because I really want to show you this Kitchen Rules project, uh, another one. I want to show you this before this transfer disappears. Today is the 28th, which is actually my my pop up, my grandfather's birthday. He's in heaven. He's been there for quite a while, but um, his birthday. So it always brings good thoughts to mind about him. But um, 
the 28th, my point there is it's the 28th and this transfer is only good through the 31st. So as of midnight mountain time on um, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, August 31st, this transfer will no longer be available. This is only available if you are a, in the club couture, in my club, um, or if you're a designer. That's the only way you can get this transfer. So if you're interested, you have a few more days, but I just wanted to give you a, another idea for it um, to show you what we're gonna do with it. And today I am going to put it on an apron. So, cause I thought oh, this is something I could really use. I do use an apron quite a bit when I cook. Um, and of course, when you bake, you have to use an apron, but um, I definitely use one a lot when I cook. And mine is pretty ratty. I think the pocket's torn. It's been washed, but it's dingy, even though it's washed. Um, I got it from Ikea probably four or five years ago. I don't know how long ago. But anyway, it's nice long apron, but it could use replacing. So why don't I go ahead and make one that would be super cute with this um, transfer? So that's what we're going to do today. And if you're interested in getting this transfer, then you can type in club in the comments or send me a message with club and I'll send you the information. But basically you get a, a, a B size transfer and three paste packets every month if you're a member of the club, which is a subscription service. So it's um, $19.99 and you have a three month minimum. And then um, after that, you can cancel anytime if you decide this is just not for you or you're not gonna use it. Even if you don't use it, you can, Give it as a gift but you can use this make signs i've put some ideas in my vip group i try to add more ideas than what i just show on my lives in my vip group sorry guys my nose is really itchy and i don't somebody talking about me uh anyway hopefully it's good things but um yeah so just keep that in mind and if you're interested just shoot me a message or um comment club and i'll be glad to message you all the details okay you have until tuesday Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about this and see if you have an opinion. Hang on a second because I want to bring you up on my iPad so I can see if there's anybody commenting. I want to go, there we go. Well, now I can see, wonderful. It's kind of weird when you can see yourself, but now I can see any comments that come up. Okay. All right, sorry, sorry guys. Um, I am gonna use ink, um, and I am gonna just use, even though I got three new ink colors in, which are so pretty, I, for, I couldn't even remember which ones I had ordered, but they're gonna be so pretty, you'll love them. But I'm just gonna use my teal because I told you I have a lot of this in my house, so I think this will be good. Um, and I'm just gonna use a black apron because that's what I could find, and I'll tell you where I got that. Um, but I wanted to get your opinion as to whether we keep the, um, little rooster on here or we use one of my little farm minis farmhouse minis french farmhouse minis instead so leave me a comment and let me know also if you wouldn't mind giving me a heart on my video um just to let me know that you're here watching and um if you want to tell me where you're watching from i'd love to hear that too just put it in the comments but um if you do let me know which one you think i should use i kind of have an idea of which one I might use if I do it. Um, yeah. So, anyway, let me know what you think. And I'll do that. If so, I'll show you how we do it without using the rooster. Okay? Otherwise, I'll just use the rooster. Either way, it doesn't matter. So, about the apron, just so you know, we don't sell aprons at all in my online shop. But you can find them lots of places. Um, there's online places, I'm sure, that our favorite uh, delivery service um, offers them. But I found this one. I went out looking this week. My one trip to the Wally World. I don't even try to go once a week but because I really don't like going in there. They're so crowded and whatever. So I usually do pickups if I can. But um, I, found, I went in. And I found this apron there. So this one is in, it's in black and it's really a nice apron. I, as I opened it up this morning, I had to get some of the creases out. But um, as I opened it up this morning, I'm like, you know, it's really pretty good quality. And it was only $7.88. It did come in white too, 
but um, again, I already told you the one that I have isn't even really all white and it's dingy, so I didn't. I thought I'd be better off to stick with a dark um, color. Now, when I went online to find out the price because I couldn't remember, and I, the, I don't know if I have the receipt up here, um, I found that they also apparently offer one for $9.98 that comes with a, um, uh, what do you call it, pot holder. I didn't see the picture of the pot holder on there, but it comes with a pot holder too, and you could always do this, or part of it even, on a pot holder. How fun would that be? Or coordinate it if you decided to use one of the, um, one of these guys, or the chicken, not chicken, rooster. You could put that on the pot holder, right? Just that. Anyway, um, it said that it has it in red, teal, and gray. Now, you know if I had seen a teal one, I would have picked it up. I did not see a teal one. This particular apron actually was on the, the um, aisle that has the, um, it wasn't even where I thought it would be. Oh, it was where like that little laundry section is, like where you can buy hampers and laundry ball, uh, like dryer balls and I can't remember what else. But anyway, that, that particular aisle, it wasn't even on the aisle that I thought it would be, like where the dish um, towels and stuff like, no, that's not true. This was where the dish towels and stuff was. There was another apron, but it was all like fancy and it had a pattern on it and we'd never be able to see the words. So um, that was on that laundry aisle. But it said it had red, teal, and gray, but I don't, I did not see those because I probably would have picked up the teal one. But this one is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy making this one and I'll probably try to get my hands on the teal one. I may even try to get my hands on the uh, a red one so that I can do something for Christmas. Cause I could use another Christmas apron. We always wear them when we're baking cookies. So um, I think that some of them are a little too small. So, cause I've had them for several years for our kids, but um, I could always use a, a new apron. So just wanted to let you know that. And if you need that link, just um, shoot me a message or, um, and I can include that link in my, send you a message with it. I'll probably include it in my VIP group so you can find it. But. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's the apron. Here it is. Like I said, it's pretty nice for that price, especially. I'm sure there's other places that sell blank aprons, but it's got pockets. They're even like sewn in the middle. So there are two pockets and it's got a nice little, little hook up here. And I think it's gonna be, obviously it's not hard for it to be long on me, but it's gonna be plenty long, comes down to my knees or past my knees. So that's gonna be good. And, um, yes, so, and we're gonna use the teal ink. So, I think I have everything I need that we can go ahead and get started. I am going to just kind of fold this over and try to keep things out of the way that I don't need to, um, so it won't be in my way, so, and but this will stay up on the, the table so I'm gonna to try to do that and I'm going to I haven't had a chance to cut my ink mat yet so I'm not gonna do that um, actually maybe I, well I guess I could go ahead so the ink mat I took it out of the plastic packaging but it comes with this um, like layer on the top a protective adhesive it protects your adhesive because this is sticky right because we're working with ink projects you don't want the um like your i really feel like i want to cut this first though ah, you guys gonna do this with me all right let's do it hang on let me grab another pair of scissors that i know will cut through it okay let's see we'll go ahead and cut it so what do i do do i cut it that way I don't know if it's a certain size. I don't know if it looks like it's pretty square to me, so I don't think it's gonna matter. And what did I say? Maybe about a third? Maybe about a third? Does that look like about a third, guys? Let's see if I can cut through it with this. And do it with the, you know, the top or on, because I don't want my stickers to get stuck. And I also want to make sure that, make sure I don't cut my apron. Oh, and I need to put my apron on because, my crafting apron, because I'm going to be working with ink today. 
wouldn't this be a fun gift to give also? I think so. Like I said before, I love unique gifts. I'm going to put this aside. Oh, and don't let me forget that at the end, I want to share a sneak peek of the September Club transfer. Maybe I'll just do it now. Oh, let's just do it now because I don't want to forget. Okay. So, you saw it here first. This is September's. You may have seen a post. I've shared a picture of it. I've shared it in my VIP group anyway. I don't think I've shared it on my business page yet. But this is the September transfer for the club um, couture. It's called Hello Autumn. Isn't that awesome? It's going to be so fun to make. So fun to make. All right. But you can only get that as a designer or if you're a member of the club. Okay. And that one will not be available until September 1st. So the one I'm doing today is through the August 31st. And, and they're really, you know, there's no wiggle room on that. So only through October th or August 31st. And then September 1st, the other one's available. All right. Let me put this somewhere. I won't lose it. And see if we can adhere. Put this under here. That way uh, my ink won't go through the back of the apron. I don't know if it would or not. But I don't want it to. So let's see if we can get it. This be a fun gift. Got any bakers in your life? Any cookers? <laughs> any cooks? I guess we all have to pretty much, but if you've got someone that really enjoys doing it, I think this would be a cute option. Gosh, this is probably gonna take me the longest. And I'm gonna stick with the one color, guys. So it should go pretty quick once we get started on the project. This will be the longest part of the project. I usually throw stuff like this in the dryer before I, and that gets the wrinkles out and any little loose threads, but I didn't think about that. I didn't do my homework. All right, make sure it's smoothed out because I don't want that to affect my transfer when I go to attach it. This would be kind of nice because I can just stick these little guys out of the way, kind of on that. Hold it in place. Oh, ta -da. Now you don't have to have one of these ink mats, guys, to do ink projects. Like I showed when I did, um, what did I do when I showed you guys ink? Oh, the pillowcase. Forgot already. That's terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, when I did the pillowcase, I didn't use that. I just used like a little piece of glossy paper. You know, that paper has gloss on it, or you can use a piece of cardboard. Something just to make it so it doesn't bleed through. Um, and this is a brand new transfer, so I'm going to have to fuzz it. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. It's brand new. I have used it once. But I don't have to fuzz it because I'm putting it on fabric. If I wasn't putting it on fabric. I, was, I had two cups of coffee this morning, so I don't know what the problem is. But um, if I was not putting it on fabric, I would fuzz it still, even though I've used it before. Um... But since I'm putting it on fabric, it'll be fine. And what I'm going to do, if I can find one. I don't think, let me check. I don't think. Oh, thank you, Andrea. How are you, Andrea? It's nice to see you. What do you think, Andrea? Should I do, uh, I just looked at comments. It wasn't showing up on there for some reason. What do you think, Andrea? Do I stick with the rooster? And thank you. I love Snoopy, if you can't tell. Decided to coordinate today. Snoopy is my dude, I love him. I saw a cute meme the other day. Somebody posted, I don't remember where. Somebody posted the other day and it said, after a year of listening to people talk, and there's probably like dentists and people like that that already could, but after a year of listening to people talk with a mask on, they can finally understand what um, uh, what the adults were saying in uh, Charlie Brown and Peanuts. 
shows. Womp, womp, womp. So I thought that was cute, kind of funny. All right, let's see if I can get it lined up here straight. That's the hard part. I don't know why. The comments I'm having issues. I wish I could see them right on here. I don't know why I can't see them on my phone. Okay, come on, apron. Now, you know, I mean, like, is anybody besides me going to know that it's not 100% straight? Probably not. Okay. So, I think, I don't see a comment. I can't read the comment. I don't even think I can bring it here. It won't show me. No, it's just not going to bring it up on my phone. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be rude. Um, I think... Gosh, I really like the idea of trading one out. So, why don't we... I'm going to choose... I need to choose between eat well, eat often, local. Eat o local. Or cafe organic. Sur la table. What? Home Sweet Farm. That's not appropriate for me anyway. So I'm thinking between this one and this one. Maybe we'll go with this one. I can't see the comments. So we'll just go with this one. How about eat local, eat often. Eat well. Sound good? All right, and what I'm going to do... And remember, you get this whole sheet for $14.99. So this is a B size transfer also. See how they're the same size? They're exactly the same size. You just get a bunch of options on this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm using my transfer trimmers. They're just made um, specially for these. So you can cut right through these little, they make little lines there, little silk screen lines, um, but that's so it doesn't, uh, they're coated so it doesn't. Set that aside, so I'm not gonna use any more of those right now. But, uh, and I gotta write on the back of this one. Let's see, this one is eat well. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little um, backer square from this to put behind my, I'm gonna take it off even though I don't need it yet because I'll have to dry and then put it on. Let's put it over here. I'm gonna use this behind my chicken, rooster, whatever. Well, maybe I'm not. No, I'm not. I was going to, but it's too big. It's gonna run over there, so we'll just leave that there. How about we use some tape, some of my placement tape just to kind of block, just to kind of block. That guy. I just don't want to get any paste on him. Not paste. We're going to do ink today. Don't want to get any ink on him. Accidentally and pick him up. So we'll just do that. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Okay. We'll set this aside. So what I'll do is Press this down, make sure it's sticking to my fabric. And the reason I do that is I just don't want my ink to bleed, right? And I'm just worried about the silk screen area, as you can see. All right, I'm gonna get my ink. Oh, wait a minute, sorry guys. Forgot that quick, get my apron, well, Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna do more aprons now that I got more ink. And now that I found a good resource for aprons. This one's really cool because it's denim, but uh, you only get this as a designer. I don't think you can even buy this um, on the website, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, in case you cared. I'm sure you can find a denim one somewhere though. I actually saw 
a project with one with this particular transfer with a denim one. So I know that they're available. I think you just have to find it online. All right, I'm gonna try to keep that ink out of the way. You know I have my little baby wipe over here for my fingers. And since we're doing this all in one color, I'm going to use my small squeegee, okay? And I'm gonna just pull it right from the jar. I don't have to do anything else to prep. I'm ready to go. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna, now remember though with the ink, as I've said before, with ink, I try to stay in one direction, up and down or left and right. Obviously, because I'm doing things upside down. I had a heart attack for a second. I just looked down and I'm like, I do have it right, don't I? It's too late now, but whew, I just had a moment. Just had a moment. Okay, but um, since I'm doing it upside down, I'm just doing it up and down so that you guys can see it easy. But I feel the most comfortable putting it on that way. I want to just make sure that I... See, I gotta be careful. I should have covered his little feet too. I'm gonna go slowly over here. I just wanna make sure that I am covering the silk screen area that I want the ink to go through. Okay? And I can go up and down. I just don't wanna go side to side because then they say, um, you know, you might take, that might give you a more chance of it bleeding through. And I can tell if I if it's gone through or not. Like, I can see through what I'm putting on. I just love this one. This, anything with Subway anyway, but I mean, isn't this just a good message? Look, I keep wanting to go left to right. <sighs> Gotta stop. So many good things on here. And you don't even have to use all of the lines. Maybe some of these rules aren't you know, I mean, it's just cute in general, but maybe some of these rules don't apply to you. That's the cool thing about being able to make your own decor is that you can add or subtract whatever you want. You don't have to do it just as it comes. You can make it the way you want it to be. I will not be surprised if my little guy doesn't come popping in. He may. Because sometimes he'll just all of a sudden look up and be like, where's Grandma Actually, he calls me Mama. But, uh, and then he has to find out where I am, so. Just making sure that everything is covered. I'll probably go over it one more time after I finish. And it's still, even though the ink, I feel like the ink is a little thinner than the paste. Sorry guys, I'm not looking up much, I apologize. Um, even though I feel like the ink is a little thinner than the paste, it still doesn't take very much to cover, to get the coverage. I know it seems like I'm dipping in here a lot, but it's just kind of thinner. Like when I'm doing it, I'm doing like that. Okay. Doesn't take much. Oh, I hope this turns out the way I imagine it to. Does that happen to you? I'm one of those kind of crafters. I get an idea in my mind, I see it, but there's many times that I've gone to create something and it did not turn out the way I imagined it was gonna turn out near as good. That's why I like these the transfers, is that even if you think you've messed up, it still looks fabulous. on got it on my squeegee I just can't get it off there we go and our squeegees have an angled side and a flat side you can use whichever side you want I might have should have used the angled one it probably would have gone on a little bit better for me I wouldn't have to move the squeegee around so much the squeegees are washable even with the ink all of this is washable with just cold water in your sink you can use a board eraser to help clean this as well but if you can use your hands get in there and clean it with your hands. A border eraser is nice for the um, transfers, but you don't have to have it. Those are available on my site in packs of two. All right, so I'm just going over it one more time to make sure I have it 
everything covered. And once I'm done with the ink, like I said, even though this is ink, we can still um, wash it. it. Doesn't take anything special. And you do want to try to wash your transfers as soon as you use them anyway. But when you use ink, you definitely want to get it. You know, don't wait too long. With the teal, it's not going to stain the transfer. You're not going to be able to tell um, because it blends in with the color of the material that they make it out of. All right, guys, almost done. And when I'm all the way done, let's see, I feel like I have a bubble there. I, just, I thought I pushed that down. I'm just gonna go one last time all the way across to pull off any extra that doesn't need to be there. And then I need to get away from it so that I don't get that chicken, rooster, whatever. I've heard the bait, debates, whether it's a chicken or whether it's a rooster. Okay. I'm just going to put any extras, not much, because I really didn't apply a lot at, at a time. And I'm going to set that aside because I will use that again. Well, actually, I'll probably use a smaller one to do the little, to replace the rooster. All right, so I'm going to gently... I can leave that on there. I don't even have to do it. I'm gonna pull it off, start at the corner and come over into the middle. And this is like a farmhouse kind of distressed um, fonts. So it's not meant to be super duper clear. And I'm gonna set that aside and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on it. I think I've mentioned how I do that before just to keep it moist until I can get it to my sink. I just have a little mat over here, like a dollar store favorite dollar store like dish drying mat so here it is so far doesn't that look great okay so what I'm gonna do next is use my heat gun now you remember this one this is my older one that I've had forever and um, I'm gonna use that well I thought it was oops I came unplugged, hold on, my extension cord. I'm gonna use that to dry this um, a little bit before I put down this other transfer. I feel like I got really bright, what happened? Hmm. I feel like I'm glowing, y'all. Hang on a second. Why has it got so bright? I feel like it's harder to see. There we go, maybe that will help. I guess maybe it got brighter outside, I don't know reflecting off of something <laughs> Ooh. a little better yeah that's a little bit better I think I don't know it just seems really bright for some reason it doesn't look that bright outside I'm gonna dry this now I do not own one of those big old heat presses that Cricut makes and that's fine I haven't really needed one obviously it would be great for a project like this because um, it would be able to get just about, if not all, the whole, most of the whole surface at once, but. You guys having a good weekend? So glad it was the weekend. Didn't feel like running out again. I've been out so much this week. I just did not feel like going out again. So today we are not. I'm not going anywhere anyway. I don't know if my hubby is or not. He tries to golf on the weekends, but it's so hot out there. I don't know if he's going to do it. But tomorrow afternoon, we're going to take the little guy to his first official movie. We've tried one other time to take him to a movie, but it was well over a year ago. I just don't think he was big enough to manage it. And I ended up staying down, walking him around and being with him most of the time, down not even watching the movie while everybody else finished it. But um, I can't even remember what movie that was. But we're going to try to take him to see Paw Patrol tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get to the first showing so I know that the theater is clean. 
I'm hoping they're still cleaning stuff really, really well, but you never know. You never know. Now, generally, what they suggest is, you know, you let this dry 24 hours or so before you heat press it. You just want to make sure it's really, really dry. That's the whole idea. But, you see, it's tacky. I still got some on my fingers, so I know it's not dry. I'm going to have to be careful when I go. And what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trim that even more, that transfer because I want to be sure it doesn't. And if I had the little, um, what was I saying? The um, oven mitt that went with, like with that other set, I'd probably put this on it. And I know this is a little bit different font, but you still have some cursive on here, so I feel like it blends fine. But you do whatever you like. Keep that rooster on there. He's cute. I have no problem with him. I just thought it would be fun to show you another option. I never did the hot mess technique yet with him. I may still do that. Okay, so that feels like that's about as good as I'm going to get that for now. So let's trim this transfer just a little more to make sure. don't get it so I'm just going to trim around it I just want to leave a little bit of the um, material that the silk screens enclosed in around it and you can cut your transfers I know that the really big transfers like uh, um, I haven't shown you well I've shown you ones that get cut up anyway but um, some of the bigger ones like that pumpkin spice one that I talked about on my feed on the pictures and asked for um, input as to whether I should get it, it's pretty big. Some people cut them up into smaller chunks. Smaller pieces make it more manageable. So I'm just going to throw that away. And now I've got a cute... See? I think I'll be fine. And then I'll just be careful. I won't touch that. But you want to let it dry really well. You know, say maybe 24 hours. And then take a... Iron, if you don't have a heat press, if you have a heat press, maybe you do. Uh, take an iron. I just want to remember, I'm not fuzzing this because I'm on fabric. And I'm definitely going to use one of my smaller tools to put the ink on there because I don't, I'm close to the edge. I didn't give myself much grace there. I have to go slow and be careful. But, um, you know, use a heat press or your, if you have one or an iron. Or remember, I shared this cute little guy with you that I got from Wally World. They have two different ones. Just don't add any water to it. Don't use steam. And I have this one just set up aside just specifically for my projects, for my craft projects. For $13, can't beat it. I will hopefully at some point get one of the bigger presses, but I really don't have the need for it right now. Um, I think this is going to be the good size. I don't think I really need the real little one. I think the real little one will take forever. So I'm just going to be really careful. Let's see if I can do that. Be really careful. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Can you still see? Yeah. I'm just going to take my multi-purpose tool with my smaller squeegee. This is the hard part. Okay, so let me, actually what I'm going to do, shouldn't have gotten that ink on there yet. What I'm going to do is turn it this way so I don't have a chance of getting my elbow or a wrist on the wet ink. There, that makes more sense. How about that? I thought of it. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm sticking. Put that over there. Feels like it's down. You could even do this in another color if you wanted you wanted to make it stand out if you decide you're gonna or even any of it remember even with ink you can use more than one color guys if you wanted to have it multicolored maybe you wanted to do it in white use the white apron and do it in a color because you're gonna use it for baking or something which seems like those they don't get as dingy when you're baking 
as with cooking red sauce and stuff like that that can get on you. Now this, obviously I'm having to go more than one direction because it's a circle, kind of a circle. Ooh, I gave myself a challenge. Imagine that with um, trying to get and if I miss any of your comments, guys, because I'm concentrating so much, I will go back and answer them after the video is over, after we're done with the project. <clears throat> but if you wanted to do white and you wanted to do a couple colors, you could. We have quite a few ink colors. We don't have every color that we offer in, in ink, but lots of options. I, at first, when I first started with it, I really thought, oh, I'm not probably gonna ever do anything with ink. Uh, I, I do love like t-shirts that say stuff or that are unique or whatever, but I usually just buy them from a discount site, a couple different diff places that I always get my t-shirts from online that offer some really cute sayings and stuff but and I'm sure you've seen some of them and you probably will still continue to see some of them but I thought oh I don't need to do that I'm probably not even gonna do it but then I was like well maybe I'll just get a couple and try it and then I tried it and I was like well this is super easy I still cannot figure out why I'm washed out I am sorry guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't even have the light on. I think it's something with my phone. I think maybe it's something with my phone setting. I don't know what's happening though. Why? I apologize. I look pretty angelic. Maybe that's just helping camouflage my appearance today. Since I didn't put a lot of time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. As long as you can see the project. Maybe it's because, oh, you know what? I think I remember someone saying that before. Oh, I bet it's because I'm working with this black. So the black's down here and it makes everything else brighten up because it thinks that the exposure on the camera, that's what it is, duh. That was stored away in my memory somewhere. I remember someone else working on something black and they had that same issue. Okay, I think I have everything covered. If I don't, it's good enough. So there we go. I didn't use that much. That is so funny. I really could not figure out why the camera was doing that, but that's exactly what it is. All right, let me close that up. Make sure I don't have any, make sure you don't have any ink on your hands before you go to touch your project. Probably gonna get some when I go to pull this guy up. And actually because it's such a small area and the ink is so close to the edge. Do you see? Like I gave myself no room for error there, which usually with the squares, you have much, a lot of room. I'm going to use my multi mm -hmm. my multi-purpose tool to lift my transfer to get it started. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ta -da, got it off. Whew, sweating this one, guys. I don't know why I never give myself the easy road. Now, I would suggest if you're going to do that, maybe don't cut it as cl close. Again, if I didn't teach you anything new, at least I ta taught you what not to do. Yeah? Okay, so let me show you. And I'm going to be really super careful because it's all wet. Ta -da! I think that looks cute. What do you think? You like it? All right, let's take it off the mat. I'm gonna try. Obviously, I have an apron on, but I know you wanna see what this looks like. And see, I'm glad I used my mat. Oh gosh, be careful. Because I do see that it came through just a little bit, just on the little circle one, probably because I was pressing down so hard and it was. But I know you wanna see this modeled. I'm not as cute as the model I posted on my, on my feed earlier. How do you do this? Are you knotted? I can't remember. 
I'm definitely not as cute as that guy, but look. Am I gonna be styling or what? I'm cooking in my kitchen. I'm gonna at least look like I know what I'm doing. I'm not the world's best cook, but I haven't killed anybody yet. And I have a cute kitchen sign that I'm going to make for my kitchen. Oh, let me show you that. Did I show you guys that yet? I think I did. I think I did. Kitchen sign, look. See, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do that one for my kitchen. Would eat here again. I'm probably about a four and a half. I can live with that. Close enough. Okay, so I need to be careful so I don't mess up my ink, which I probably already just did. I don't think I can fix because I bent over to show you guys that. Yeah, I'm gonna try real quick, but anyway, that's it. I'm gonna let it dry, okay? And then I will heat press it. Um, I did, guys, I did smear it. Oy vey. Oh, wait a minute though. My baby wipes helping me get it cleaned up a little bit. If I do it maybe before it dries and before I heat press it. I did, I just, just the littlest bit of smear. Oh my goodness. Okay, well this is good to know too. See, I've taught you two things. Don't cut too close to your transfer when you're cutting it out of the shape that the company sends it in. And if you smear your ink, take a baby wipe real quick. And I'm taking my fingernail and just trying to go in the area that I smeared it. Ta-da! And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You know you made it. And that makes it awesome. Okay, that's better. I think I fixed it. Thank you, Lord. Okay, here you go. Ta-da, all done. Would have looked just as great in any of the other ink colors, but you definitely need something that's gonna show up, you know, well. I had white, but that was too boring for me. I have a lot of teal in my kitchen. Okay, so that's the August Club. It's available to, I may move this so you can see me the rest of the time. Let's move it back here to dry. My apron place where I usually put mine. Okay, stay there, please don't fall over. There. Okay, so um, see, that's better now. You can see me a little better anyway. I still have a glare coming in that. And you can get this through Tuesday, August 31st at, oops, upside down, at, um, and I think you can use either one of these sides. I can't tell, but they, one feels a little different, but I think one is a little more slick. Maybe mark that too. I'm gonna mark mine, guys. Mark it before you take it off if you get one of their ink mats. And they actually, I think, sell a smaller ink mat. Or maybe it's one of the smaller self-healing mats. They make both. Um, I'm gonna mark it so that I know, because I think that feels right. I think there was a little bit more slick side on that one. I'm gonna put something on there. There we go. I'll do it on my little one too. But that's available through um, it's midnight mountain time, which is 2 a.m., I believe. 2 a.m. our time. Yeah, I think so. Oh, gosh, my hat keeps getting crooked. And the kitchen rules will be available, the one we did today. And I have lots of other ideas. If you're interested in those ideas, please comment VIP. I'll give you an invitation to my VIP group, and you can see all the lovely designs and all the different ideas that you could do with this, transfer, this month's transfer or any of the transfers that I've shared with you. If I have more ideas that I can share, I'm happy to do that, that I've already made projects with and that I want to um, help encourage you to find something that works for you. Um, and then beginning September 1st, this is the transfer that you'll get. This is gonna be lots of fun. We'll have to decide if we're gonna do it. I'm not, I can't remember what color packets it comes with, I'm sure. I posted a picture and I cannot remember. I'm sure it's an orange. Probably an orange and a green. I'm not 100% sure, and I don't remember which colors. Might even be one of our shimmers. I'm not sure. But um, if you sign up for my club, I hear my noses again. If you sign up for my club, then I will um, send you 
It does not come in the, in the kit, but I will send you um, a mini squeegee so that you'll have something to work for. And then you can decide on what kind of surface you want, whether you purchase it from my website, my online website, or whether you um, find something on your own, just like I've shown so many projects of finding things on my own. Or maybe you already have something at home that you can repurpose. You can even just do this on regular picture frames. And if you don't, if you needed a background, put a piece of regular cardstock behind it um, and make your own sign. Make your own, make your own with something you already have. Um, I'm sure at least once I'll probably do like a, uh, like an mom, not an ombre. I'm probably gonna do the hot mess technique where you kind of put the different colors together on the leaves. I'm sure I'll probably do something a little more fun with that because we are gonna start next week. I think Wednesday, possibly not Wednesday because I'm really not sure what my time's gonna look like next week yet with the little guy off school. But um, hopefully, before the end of next week, I'll be able to get on and have a couple lives with you. I don't think I'll be able to do a live every day, but I'll be able to do a couple lives with you, and maybe we can get started on a um, fall project because I have some fall goodies here to share with you, and I want to make sure I get them out there so you know what we have available before they get sold out. Um, that will happen. Uh, a lot of designers have already been sharing all the fall stuff for... Uh, ever since the middle of July when our catalog came out with all the new stuff and um, I want to make sure you have access to anything that you're interested in so um, I need to start demoing that stuff for you next week and the same thing with um, you know the fall but then also Halloween once we finish get through fall I'll try to start on the Halloween because I have some goodies there too and boy do they have some really cute ones and then towards the end of September, I think, um, I understand we are gonna have another like mini catalog launch. So they're gonna come out with some more transfers they're gonna introduce us to, which I don't even know, none of us know what those look like yet. We haven't gotten any kind of sneak peeks or behind the scenes or even any kind of indication. They keep that top secret until closer to time. And um, then we'll have more fun to try to, to add to. And I think that'll be more like Thanksgiving type um, and maybe more Christmas stuff. We have quite a bit of Christmas stuff already, but the catalog's available online. You can see any of it. Also, if you just want to link to the catalog, just let me know that. I can send you that as well. There's never an obligation to buy, guys. Again, as I mentioned the other day, I share this because I wanted a creative, out, creative outlet to make home decor for my home, and I just enjoy sharing it with others. So the fact that you are generous with your time and you um, watch my videos and um, allow me to do this, is just the blessing to me so um, anything else you decide to do is all on your own but there's never an obligation to buy them I've always loved sharing information that I know with people and I'm happy to do that so um, oh do you see this lovely look at this this is a sign that you're getting old I did not even bang it or do anything major I lifted a remember that Ikea um, um, cabinet that I bought that I stayed up too late Sunday night assembling I lifted it up it was pretty heavy and it was bigger than what I should have been carrying probably because I'm not tall enough like to hold it the way it needed to be so I lifted it and I had it just barely to carry it into the room where I was taking it and all I had it doing was resting on my muscle and next day bruised and look at it by now that's a sign you're getting old which someone does have a birthday coming up soon so <laughs> I am um, anyway my um, birthday will be uh, a benefit for you as well. So stay tuned on that because I have a surprise coming with that. Anyway, I think that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, comment, message me. If you like this video, if you would sprinkle it, which is S-H-A-R-E to anyone that you think would be interested in watching it, I would appreciate it. And if you would heart it or uh, give me a heart, anything besides a like, the likes, Facebook, doesn't even recognize likes. So anything besides that um, helps get the video out into the world. Uh, I appreciate it. And other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend um, and a great Saturday. I am going to go get busy. I'm gonna clean this stuff up and then go get busy with the little guy, spending some time with him, getting him away from an electronic. So that's my goal for the weekend. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this project. Talk to you soon.